We next turn our attention to the other half of the tournament bracket. A veteran of over 40 professional fights. He's out to prove tonight that he belongs among the world's top stand-up fighters. Please welcome Matt Embry. Well, he's representing the six, Toronto, Canada. Matt Embry, 27 years of age, 37 and seven with 16 wins coming via former a form of knockout. He is making his first appearance in a glory ring. A Muay Thai fighter, well known though in the United States as he's competed all over at the highest level. In fact, has a high profile victory over American Kevin Ross back in 2013. Yeah, he's very, I got to train with uh, Matt Embry multiple times and he's a very intelligent fighter and he's very technical in the ring and he's constantly improving his boxing and he's got really good distance and range control and again, he's one of the main training partners uh, with Simon Marcus. Yeah, the former glory middleweight champion Simon Marcus. Embry, a very smart technical fighter. He told us that his best weapons are the ones not allowed in glory, that being the elbows and clinch, but he said it doesn't matter. He is going to show everyone his evolution in the sport of kickboxing. Considered by many to be the best Korean kickboxer of all time, he is back to make his third glory start. Here is Chi Bin Glory Kickboxing, truly a global enterprise. South Korea's Chi Bin Lim looking for his first win in the glory ring. 0 for 2. And, uh, well, he's found himself against st stiffer competition than he's used to in his native South Korea. He went up against Mosab Amrani at Glory 26 and was finished in the first round. And, in fact, uh, has lost back-to-back -to, -back to Amrani. So he's he's looking to snap a three-fight losing streak tonight. Yeah, he also lost in Glory 8 to Yuda Kubo. Oh, and, highly regarded Yuda Kubo. Yeah, and both of those guys were able to finish Chibin with uh, knees to the body. So you can expect Embry to kind of use and attack the body a little bit more as Chibin seems to be a, you know, his weak spot to the body. But Chibin is a very technical and powerful fighter, and he's very well-rounded. And again, this is a man who's dominated the South Korean kickboxing scene for many years. Has been training for three months for this fight. Also does the uh, commentary in South Korea for glory kickboxing. Ladies and gentlemen, this contender tournament semifinal again scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Fighting out of the black corner, a WBC and WMC North American champion. His professional career, 37 wins with seven losses, 16 of those wins by knockout. He makes his glory debut tonight in Trenton. Standing 5 feet 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters, he weighed in at 143 pounds, 64.9 kilos. Here tonight from Toronto, Canada, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Matt Maddox Embry. His opponent standing on my left and fighting out of the white corner, a three-time Korean champion and former world champion. His professional career impressive. 69 wins with 19 losses, 40 of those wins coming by knockout. At 5 feet 9 inches tall, 1.75 meters, he too weighed in at 143 pounds, 64.9 kilos, fighting tonight out of South Korea. Here is Chi Bin Lim. And your referee in charge of this bout is Scott Colon. So who will face Giga Chikadze in the final? Will it be Canada's Matt Embry making his glory debut? Or will it be South Korea's Chi Bin Lim? 
looking for his first win in his third glory appearance. Kim Chin. Guys, we went over the rules earlier, all right? Be my commands at all times, protect your souls at all times. Watch the low blows and watch your heads. When I say break, break. Touch gloves, go to your corners. Fight! The bell and round one, Embry in the black gloves. Chibin Lim in the white gloves. Embry checks that outside low kick, fires back with a kick of his own. Again, three three-minute rounds. Embry, a keen reader, loves to read biographies of men of history who have achieved a lot. He's very fond of quoting Napoleon on the subject of war. Of course, he's going to win, do his best to ensure that his glory debut will not be his Waterloo as Canada has produced a plethora of talented fighters, including my broadcast partner, the former glory welterweight champion, Joseph Valtellini. And Joe, what can you tell us about Matt Embry? Well, Embry, being, he's a very smart and technical fighter. And every time you see him fight, everything is very calculated. He's good at keeping range and fighting on the outside. Yes, nice it. left hook to the body by Embry. And he's wanted to make a transition to MMA, so he has been working a lot of his boxing lately. Of course, Embry would love to make it a potential All-Canadian championship out. And as he goes to the body with that left uppercut, now firing back his limb. Yeah, that's what Embry saw in those fights. Look for that left hook to deliver. He's getting his head to the left side, throwing those left hooks. Of course, things getting very interesting in the featherweight division. Already tonight, we have seen former featherweight champion Sarah Adam Troop defeated in the opening semifinal by Giga Chikadze. Coming up next month in Denver, Varga, the featherweight champ, will defend against the former lightweight champion, Robin Van Roosmullen, dropping down. That's an exciting fight. Can't, can't wait for that one. So unlike our opening semifinal, this one, oh, Henry just connected with a stiff right hand. I was going to say a little more methodical, but now Embry beginning to pick up the pace. He's finding success with that right cross, and he's... Both with that left hook to the liver and that right crosser is two best weapons. Fight! I'd like to see Chivin be a little bit more active, though. Take this out of a technical fight, try to get on the inside and throw more combinations. You can't let Embry set up. He's, he's too calculated. Lim just missed with the counter sweeping left hook. Another right hand left by Embry, inside low kick. Lim, trying to corner up, oh, missed with that spinning hook kick. That's what Chibin needs to do, start throwing more combinations. Fight. When he's on the inside, start attacking and finishing with low kicks. Looking to give uh, Embry a haircut, but his, his head's already shaved. 15 seconds left in the first round. Embry attacking the lead leg on the outside, and you can already see he has discolored the lead leg, and again, damage. Paramount here under glory rules. Knockdown's oh. number one. We haven't seen one yet, but a good start for Matt Embry. One of the spectacular thing about these experienced fighters is the distance control. And you can see that kick just slip over Embry's head. But again, Matt Embry's fighting the perfect fight right now, keeping calculated, staying technical, and picking his shots. Round two begins. 
Embry jumping right into a contender tournament. Transitioning from Muay Thai rules and uh, so far seems to be very comfortable. Yeah, he doesn't need that those clinch in the elbows. He's staying outside picking his shots. Chiefman needs to be a little bit more active. Oh, that left hand connected by Embry. High guard inside. Low kick by Chi Bin Lim, who got his his start at 2005 when he entered the, the K1 World Max tournaments. He competed against all-time greats like Masato, Arter Kashenko, Albert Kraus, Moseb Amrani. Uh, so he's he's faced some killers in the sport. So he has that big fight experience, but a huge opportunity here for both of these competitors. And to again, you got to think, Chi Bin is nine years the elder, so the youth of Embry could be playing an advantage. Minute gone in the second. Again, Embry attacking the outside. The lead leg really just marking up Lim's anatomy. Oh, spinning heel kick to the liver there by Lim. And if that would have connected. Yeah, he's, he's looking for that one big shot. He's relying more on the, the one spin attack rather than building up the combinations and the momentum. Nice right hand down the middle by Embry and connects again with the right. Embry's doing a really good job at mixing up his strike selection. He's going with the right hand. He'll go left to the liver and mixing in that right low kick. And mixing in some feints as well and good head movement, getting it off center line. So for the 27-year-old Matt Embry making his debut in glory, he looks very composed. He's fighting the right fight right now. He's being very smart, very, you know, he's not getting too aggressive. Oh, and Lim goes down! Lim gets leveled by Matt Embry! Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come to me, come to me, give me your gloves. Under tournament rules, one more knockdown in this round, and there are only 30 seconds left, and Embry will advance, and he is looking for it. This is when he has to go to the low kick and then mix up the hands. And attacking the body with the right, has Lim in the corner, teeing off on the South Korean is Matt Embry. He keeps mixing up that left uppercut, left hook. Well done, he needs to keep mixing in that uppercut. And a wide move by Lim, looking for the clinch, wanting to slow things down, run out the clock, but he just ran in to another right hand. Embry needs to mix in that uppercut and those low kicks. Wow, Embry! Down goes Lim! Mamma mia! What a beautiful right hook by Matt Embry. Now, did, did it come after the bell? I didn't hear the bell. It, what a round for Matt Embry. Let's take another look at what is a spectacular knockdown. Lim ends up doing the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, face first flop, watch the first one. He gets his, Matt Embry gets his head off center, shifts his weight to the left, and adds more weight to the power to the left hook. And then Embry gets him in the corner, starts oh, ripping hooks to the body. Weeping and left it was hook. A big left hook. A crushing left hook to the jaw of Chi Bin Lim. Embry threw his whole weight. You see his shoulder behind that punch. That's where he got all that power. And if it, and it stands, he has his hands up. Two knockdowns in a round. And Matt Embry, in his glory debut, advances to the final. And looks spectacular at that. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to an end with an official time of three minutes in the second round by way of the Glory Tournament Maximum Knockdown Rule. For your winner, now advancing to the tournament final, Matt Embry! It will be Canada's Matt Embry against Giga Chikadze from the Republic of Georgia, now living in Huntington Beach, California. What a mouth-watering final that's going to be if what we have already seen is any indication of what's to come.